Hey, 50. This is Piers Nivens. Ada Wong is moving south towards the military port. I'm advising all personnel to be on the alert. Okay, this is the first person. Don't bother. We can handle this. I've had enough of these stupid games. Yeah, this thing is natural. <laughs> I can't purpose to be cars, so... Chris to HQ! Lock up all the exits! Sorry, no can do. All of our units are currently engaged. I don't have any to spare. Damn it! I think this is part of the plans. That car is... Ada Wong is abusing Chinese traffic laws. What traffic laws? <laughs> now we've got you. <laughs> Give up, Ada! We got you! Yeah, if it's a jeep, it's like, it's got like military guys in. Getting rid of us that easily. I'm the best driver the BSAA's got. Yeah, that's not uh, the BSAA <laughs> must have some bad driver. Alpha coming! This is Delta! Soldier, we will. Just keep those civilians safe. On to that. Good luck. Man, I'm going to put it into the shit storm. Hell down. A high order. I like how you know they just they just basically made a really wide version of Japanese. Even building interior, they, and the, you know the European barman is dressed like a Japanese barman. Okay, okay. This is fast and furious now. Captain, there's a train coming. Oh okay. okay. Deck and the bench. <laughs> Checkpoint. It feels like we're playing a damn race game. I mean, look at the amount of things they can do with the same thing. Guys, it yeah. like the best engine for driving. It's like the first four things is raining.
Grab your gun. I'm taking the wheel. Uh oh. Hang on. I'm taking a shortcut. I. Did you see that? Yeah, I'm seeing this. This is really dumb. I. There we go. On my screen, you were invisible in the driver's seat. Nice. She's not getting away again. Did I just punch out the windshield? Yep. You're not gonna lose us, Ada. Yeah, I think the car didn't have much help. No. What? <laughs> Our car had help, huh? Yeah, yeah you gotta be there careful. There we go! She's not getting away again. You're not gonna lose us, Ada! down the helicopter. <laughs> Agree to fight towards the common goal. I like how we always get the dying state at least five times. <laughs> we get it five oh, times a sub -tap. Oh hey, I didn't use grenades. Uh, I kept forgetting to. Grenade launcher I guess doesn't count. Yeah, I used the flash and the hand grenade a few times. I keep forgetting I have this stuff, you know, because it's like a secondary weapon. Yeah, it's easier uh, to access that stuff when you use the D-pad. 
Anyway, that's pretty good. I guess we can pick up uh, chapter four next time. Yep. Thanks for playing. It's cool. All right. Let's see how many skill points we got now. I have twenty-five thousand. I have only five thousand skill points, so I'm not buying anything anytime soon. I uh, I could use some more myself. Uh, melee level three is seventy-five thousand. Defense is eighty thousand. Critical hit thirty-two thousand. Actually, I can afford critical hit level three. I'm gonna get that. Yeah, I guess I could get it. But right now, I have melee defense and long. I could get one level of critical hit, but that'd be replacing one of my level two. Yeah. Might as well keep. Uh, I got critical hit level three. Keep yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks for playing. No problemo. Uh, let's see you again for chapter four of the amazing aircraft carrier adventure, I guess, or whatever the heck is going to happen. This campaign is really good. I'm glad it held up. Like it's. <laughs> Got, like it's not anything close to what a Resident Evil game should be, but just as a Gears of War clone, it's, it's very, very fun. Well, I think like it's still a bad Gears of War. Though. Well, it, it's yeah, very, it's fun. It's very much like if Spiders was making a Gears of War game, you know. And and then they added a vehicle section, and it was really bad, you know, that sort of thing. It feels like that. Yeah. Well. Um, I mean, for professional difficulty, I don't think we're taking too many tries on a lot of the set pieces. Like, the hardest moments are probably when you get, like, totally swarmed, and even then you have a real good fighting chance. Yeah. Or the helicopter. Oh, mm -hmm. right, uh, we gotta see what's the beginning of the next chapter is before we quit, right? <coughs> Whoa, what, what was that? <laughs> and the next chapter will begin with... Oh yeah, we're in the aircraft carrier. Now. And I'm gonna guess we have to fight the air aircraft carrier. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, Captain! Apparently we're fighting, uh, Cobra. G.I. Joe, the Rise of Cobra. Super this is not quit down of it. Keep your head down, they got their sights locked actually, on us! I uh, actually invaded a game, uh, at this part. And it's the worst goddamn thing. Well, we know the next chapter's gonna be bad. Good to know. Time to quit. Thanks for playing. No problem. The See problem you. is, if you join the game at this point, the, spa the spawns for you are like 90 meters, and you're actually pretty slow. So by the time you actually get to the enemies, and you start your attack animation, they've already shot you. Ah, I see. And we don't have a ton of ammo either. Oh well. Well, I mean, as, as the zombies, you don't rely on guns anyway. You have knives and, and you can turn into like a shellfish and stuff. Oh, right, right. You mean as, as the enemies in this chapter, right? Yeah. Because it's a big flat area and you can't sneak up on them. They see you coming a mile away. The, the most effective parts are when you can blend in with the AI or if the, the players don't know what they're doing. But I mean, this is a very, very accessible game. Also, it helps that if they join our game, it's professional, so they probably do more damage. Ah, yeah, that's true. I mean, they can really knock us down, take off like two bars like that, if they do the hit from behind thing. That's real annoying. Anyway. Yeah, the mutations are actually really interesting, and you can use like the special abilities that the zombies would use against you as AIs, but the animations for it take like a good 
maybe close to a minute sometimes. Well, it's good to know next time we'll be fighting Cobra troops in Cobra aircraft carrier. I mean, Neo will probably. Yeah, jeez. How did they write that one off? Okay, where are we gonna put the aircraft carrier? Oh, I don't know. It's in China. It was so close to the dock that we just jumped a car, you know, onto the aircraft carrier. And, you know, I stand by, you know, jumping a car onto an aircraft carrier seems like it would be an awesome thing to do in a Battlefield game. It really just doesn't fit this game, though. It's a bit the, too dumb. The, uh, the, best, the best thing to describe this is something similar uh, about Lost Planet 2. They, one of the reviews for it was spot on. They said they managed to take a game about people in mech suits fighting giant monsters and make it boring. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, I guess they've oh, done know. a similar thing here. I, I wouldn't say Resident Evil 6 is boring, but it's definitely clunky. It's not, it's definitely not as good as it should be. Leon's campaign was pretty boring at the beginning, and a lot of it. Oh god, those those catacombs. Yeah, those, those dragged on. Anyway, we're gonna pick up here, I guess, with the aircraft carrier next time. See ya. Mm. Yeah. See ya.